Hey, I'm Hyatt. Chapter 4, Trigonometry, Graphs and Equations. Question 9, quite a lengthy one, I'll do it in two halves. A to D first, that's the compound angles. E to H second, that's the squares of the functions. First one though, not a lot to this because that's just got inverse sine and then divide by 3. Compound angle though, so there's a potential for pulling in more values. Well, first of all, 3x is going to be the inverse sine of 0.32, not one that you know, so we'd have to look that one up. Here it is already. 18.662, etc. So I'll put, take a note of that just to one decimal place. 18.7 degrees, but put it in the appropriate places then. All sine tan cos. The sine is positive, so it'll either be an A or S, all positive, sine positive. So we've got that 18.7 there, or 18.7 short. So the solution would be 18.7 degrees or 18.7 short of 360, sorry, 180, 161.3. But with these compound angles, I'll go for the general solution. Those are the two points on the first wavelength. But of course, these wavelengths keep repeating. And I'll have these solutions repeated over and over again, forwards and backwards every 360 degrees, since that's the period of the sine. So I'll say plus n360, should it require any more? I can see here I'm looking up to 90. Next thing would be this, so what about x itself? So that means just divide them by 3. <coughs> so the first one's going to be 6 point, depend what, we'll just take it to one decimal place, 6.2 or 53.8, just rounding it off, plus n120, which says, I've got answers of 6 degrees, 53 degrees or so, plus as many more as I like, but adding 120 onto either of them. But the answer is to stop at less than 90, so I don't require any more from the general solution. So my final answer is simply going to be 6.2 degrees and 53.8 degrees for the answers up as far as 90 degrees. Right, that's A. B then. Tangent this time. Have to watch with the general solution with tangents, because they repeat every 180 degrees. <coughs> stop, what's it got here? Get rid of that 4, get rid of the tan. So, the tangent of 6 theta minus 120 is going to be negative 3 quarters. So 6 theta minus 120 is going to be the inverse tan of negative 3 quarters. Now, when it comes to finding the values, <coughs> the two values here, don't use the negative. Let the cast diagram take care of the negative part of it for you, and just you get the... <coughs> The acute value from this three quarters, so you'd inverse tan of the three quarters, and you've got this, you've got 36.869, etc. I'll just call that 36.9 degrees. The tangent's meant to be negative, so I'll have to either go into this position here, where only the sign's positive, or into this position here. Which means the two angles I'm going to have then for the inverse tan is going to be 36 short of 180. That's 143.1, or 36 short of 360. So that's going to be 323.1 degrees. Plus, again with the tangent, any of the further ones, or the ones behind, by adding on the period. Plus as many 180s as I like. Now, as you can see, a couple of problems here straight away. So the first part's going to be, I'm going to add 120 on. So 6 theta is going to be, now when I add on 120, I'm going to get 263.1, and I'm going to get, which is probably okay, and I'm going to get, for this one, when I add on 120, 443.1, plus still N180, because all I've done is carried out a shift, I haven't changed the width between the answers. Now, dividing by the 6, now there's some things that could happen here. If these numbers are too big, I can always go back wavelengths. I could take 180s off of both of those to push them back. But I can sort that out with this afterwards. What I'll do is I'll divide by the 6 first of all. So I've got this here already. So dividing that by 6 gives me 43.85. I'll leave it like that. And that gives me 73.85. And dividing that by 6 gives me N30. And what that says is I can add on as many 30s as I like to these until I reach the limit of my answers, or I could take them off. So when it comes to the answers itself then, I could take a 30 off of this one. Obviously 30 off of that just produces this. So 30 off of that gives me a 
and then I've got my 43.85 and I've got my 73.85 and then I could add on 30s well 30 onto that just produces that so it's just 30 again then I've got 103.85 and then I've got 30 again so it's 133.85 and I could add on 30 again and have 163.85 and then I've reached my 800 my 180 limit. So I've actually got these six answers in this case. There's quite a few of them. And I reached those six answers not just by sticking to the original two that you get from the cast diagram, but by using the general solution. You can keep stepping forward as many wavelengths as you like, or going back as many as you like to achieve all the ones within that window, within that interval. 9C then. Right, another one. It's a compound angle in here. So there's a few more bits to get rid of. So that'll be, take the two across and subtract, that's a three. Take the three across and divide, that's a one. So that's going to be inverse cos of one. And when it comes to the ones and the zeros and the negative ones, you don't use the cast, you don't use the calculators, the graph will tell you that. The graph of cosine looks like this. It starts at 1, finishes at 1. So it's 1 at 0 and it's 1 at 360. So for this one then, I've got 40 minus 30 degrees equals either 0 degrees or it's equivalent 360. And I could put in the general solution in case I need any more, plus as many 360s in that I care to add on or take off. Well, the next part would be take that 30 across and add it on. So I've got a 30 and I've got... A 390. <clears throat> now that 390, I could knock that back a wavelength just now, take off 360, that's going to make it equal to 30, or I could just let the general solution take care of that, because I can add and subtract as appropriate to move them into this interval. Then divide by 4, so that's going to be 7.5, but when you divide that by 4, that's a 4 into that's going to be 97.5. And dividing form to that is N90. Now what that says is, I've got these two solutions, or as many 90s as I care to add on to them, or take off of them to remain within that window. Well, if I took a 90 off of that, that would be 7.5 again. But notice, out between 0 and 90, I've only got 7.5. That one's outside the window. Take 90 off, it just produces that one. So the only answer I've got for this is 7.5 degrees. Let's see. Part D. Another compound angle one in radians this time. Now you could translate it into degrees, but I'm just going to do this all in radians. Which means that if I don't recognise an answer, I'm going to put my calculator into radian mode to get radians out. Well, the first step is going to be get rid of that 3. So I've got 8 cos 2 phi plus pi upon 2 equals negative 1. So cos 2 phi plus pi upon 6 is negative 1 eighth. And then finally 2 phi plus pi upon 6 is the inverse cos of negative 1 eighth. And that's not one of the ones I recognise. Usually when you get these radian type questions, these angles turn out to be one of those nice ones you get from the triangles. The 45, 30 and 60 and so on. So it all works out as nice little fractions of pi. But not in this case. So in this case I'm going to have to use my calculator. Again, I'll let the cast diagram take care of the sign. I just want the acute angle for an eighth. So you put an eighth in, having it in radian mode, and you get 1.445. So I'll just call that 1.445. And if the cosine is negative, all sine tan cos, that means I'm either going to put it there or there. Now I'm in radians. So that halfway round is going to be pi radians, which is 3.14, since I'm not using fractions of pi. So I've got 2 phi plus pi upon 6 is going to be 3.14 minus 1.445, minus this angle here, which I've already worked out to be 1.696, or it will be 3.14 plus 1.445 or rather more than 3.14, which is going to be 4.587 plus n lots of 2 pi.
plus as many wavelengths as a care to go forward or backwards. Now that makes this more of a pest because that pi upon 6 is no longer useful the way it would be in other ones. So I'll just have to do 1.696 minus pi upon 6 all in decimals. So I'll just enter that into the calculator and read the decimal off, but I've already done that. 1.172 and 4.587 minus pi upon 6, just entered in the calculator and read off as 4.063, still plus n lots of 2 pi. Then dividing by 2 is going to give me 0 0.586 and dividing by 2 is 2.032 plus dividing by 2 n lots of pi. So my answers are these numbers in radians plus as many 3.14 etc as you care to add or subtract to keep it inside this limit. Well, adding 3 onto either of these is going to take it beyond pi and taking them off is going to make them negative. So those are the only two answers I'm going to have within that interval. So those are my answers then. So phi is going to be, I'll just make it quite clear that that's in radians and 2.032 again in radians. I might omit the radians if I had angles with pi because that is implied within that notation. Right, that was D.